my one last one. So let's go ahead and talk through the steps for this problem. Once again, there's a couple different ways you can approach it, but both of them should start with you uh, labeling all the information. So if we draw in our radius, which intersects our tangent at a right angle, draw in our other radius that intersects our tangent at a right angle, and then draw in the, the line connecting these centers. Okay. And so that is 13. All right, so there's two ways to approach this. There's the way where you uh, take a piece and you break it down into other pieces, which is what most students, you guys can see. Are, but there's also a way to build, build the empty space around it from there. The building the empty space is harder to picture, and students don't naturally tend toward that strategy, but it's probably easier. Okay. So I'm going to do the strategy that most students would probably see first. Okay. And that is break this piece into, or break this figure. So we have a right angle and a right angle. So we know that these are actually parallel to each other, right? Because these same side interior angles are, are uh, supplementary. So we have this trapezoid here. Okay. But if we were to break this into a right triangle and only one right triangle. So I'm not going to draw a line through diagonally here. Or if I draw my line across, what kind of a shape have I created right here if I say that this is a right angle here? A rectangle. So when you look at a rectangle, what do you know about opposite sides of a rectangle? They are equal. So if this radius is 3, what does this portion of the radius have to be? Which leaves what for this portion up here? Okay. And now if this side is y, what does this purple side up here have to be? Also y. And then when we look at this figure that's left, if we drew in this perpendicular here, then its adjacent linear pair would have to be also perpendicular. So what kind of a, a triangle am I dealing with right here? A right triangle, a leg of 5, hypotenuse of 13. So what does the other leg have to be? 12. It's a 5, 12, 13 <laughs> special triangle. All right, so again, be prepared. You are going to see problems like this. Um, and so uh, the other way that you could possibly approach this would be the following. Instead of breaking this down into two pieces, you could build up. So if you were to extend through here and then connect at a right angle to form a large rectangle, then you know that if this whole thing is 8 and this portion of it is 3, what's left for this? Five, you have your opposite side here of y, and then you have your distance 13. And so you have this right angle, leg of, of y, leg of 5, hypotenuse of 13. That's probably easier to see. It's easier to, to, to build the empty space around. But if, it's, if you need to break it down into pieces, you can do it the first way. Okay.